What's going on guys, Zach here, and welcome to another old game of mine. Today we are playing Far From Home, another recent game that I was building, and this game was pretty cool. It had a really cool idea to it. The only problem with the game is that the scale of it was just too large for me to uh, handle. So I never, of course, you know, when you have these games that you're building, you need to do proper prototypes. And this is sort of a prototype in a sense. Uh, this is also a, an older build of the game. Um, it, it got, all the art was redone and the uh, some of the mechanics were changed. But basically the idea for this game and um, was, you see you have this uh, flat land here. And, you know, I might actually go back and remake this game and do it properly and right and finish it because it is such a cool idea. Um, you have this flatland area here, and what I wanted to do is add sort of like a Terraria feel with a randomly generated terrain, right? And uh, at night, you know, mobs would come out, but basically you needed to protect the spaceship. And uh, what we had in the art, re, uh, when we redid the art was the spaceship had crashed, and the goal of the game is you have to collect these pieces to your spaceship. The problem is you have to go out and adventure to find these with different biomes and these different bosses that you have to overcome. And you know, the farther you get from your main area here, it gets challenging because the other thing you need to do is when you do start building your spaceship up, um, you have this whole flatland area here where you can build uh, traps. And I'll go ahead and put uh, some screens, uh, a screenshot right now for you of kind of what the build mode looked like especially in the newer version uh, the newer version though not all the art was redone that was sort of when it was dying you know we don't have we don't have bushes on the treetops and all of that stuff um, but uh, yeah so that was sort of the idea you build these uh, uh, huge buildings and machines and it's basically now turned into an RTS so or not an RTS I'm sorry a tower defense so when these mobs come you have to protect your spaceship and if I hit X here you can go into the spaceship and here's where you can build things uh, see you have a stone block here that you can build um, you know you have uh, a hatchet stone picks you've got a whole list of things that you can basically build uh, which requires crafting and then you also need to unlock this um, the ability to be able to craft it with research points and it's getting nighttime here so I'm just gonna go ahead and restart the game and get a new world going um, so you have to get these research points which you can see up here we have five of and how you get research points uh, basically is um, uh, uh, getting resources killing mobs etc placing blocks all of that fun stuff right so if I go ahead here and if I hit shift I have uh, three blocks of wood and six stone so if I go ahead and go into here I can craft a hatchet which I can then place in my hand and now we can use Z and we can swing it right and then that allows us to start destroying the uh, the tree here so it's slowly going down and there we go so we've collected the wood and we've got 10 wood now and keep going so we'll collect a little bit more and as you can see you, these kinda uh, these point variables pop up as you're crafting. That's your research points going up, right? So we can also mine uh, this uh, bush here to get some berries. And I believe that this gets you health packs. Uh, actually, I can't see that. Well, we have 28 now, so I'm gonna research the torch. And here you can see down here is sort of a progress bar for your research. So as you got the better items, it would take you know almost days in game time to research that so it wasn't an instant thing and we can mine some stone here as well so we'll get the stone get some more and I don't know if in this version we had the jungle biome set yet I'll go ahead and adventure out a little bit this is kind of a cool map because we are placed on top of a hill which would be great for our defense I don't know about over here Okay, yeah, so it's, yeah, so this is a great actual spawning map because the hardest I've found is that when you're in, B, when you're basically in a valley and these mobs can just fly into you. But, you know, the idea was too that 
every night cycle that goes by, new monsters spawn are spawning. New, you know, you're always encountering these new things, and you got to research these new traps and things to optimize it to your gameplay. So what might be good in the beginning, like a bunch of mines around, it may not. Now you got to account for okay, what about the flying enemies? Right now we need to put cannons down so we can shoot them out of the air. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and research the stone pickaxe because I have no coal and you can actually uh, get coal with your hatchet and it's turning nighttime great so let me see here um, let that research up I should have done that earlier let's just get some more here mobs are gonna start spawning in and we'll go ahead and venture out once we have some torches that we can place down All right, I'll get some berries as well, just for health packs. There we go. And there were gonna be more resources as well in the game. We just, uh, we did have that, just not in this version. So, okay, there's a mob. So I'll try and hit it. Get out of here. And what, oh, yo, yo, yo. Get out of here. Shoo. Yeah, so this can, and I have the stone pickaxe, so let me try to craft that real quick, all right? And let me switch that out. Start hitting these guys. Come on. So these were just kind of the first mobs in the game. Yeah, there's a lot of them. And they don't actually attack the spaceship yet. Uh-oh, I got hit. Shoo. I need some torches. Because I cannot see. Crap. Uh-oh. It's a good thing there's no light. Oh, there actually is, there is life in the game. And there's just no death. If you can see on the top left there, the heads-up display actually change it out. So if we get some health packs, then I'm sure that would fix it. And we should probably get the machete, because that's going to do the most damage too. And I can't get any coal, because I can't see anything. So we'll have to wait till day. Okay, day's coming. Get out of here. It's very hard when you are out of your flatland area battling with these mobs. Um, and let me, all right, let me get some of those. And I'll place them down here. And there. All right, let's get some more coal. I really hope I do have the jungle biome because that's gonna be cool to see. We get two with one stone here. Literally. I should probably get some health packs just to peel up my health, even though it doesn't do anything. We've got the research points for it, so might as well. Let's do that, and we'll do this uh, machete. Go back over here. Craft up some of those guys. Lay them down. It requires 12 berries and 12 red berries. All right, let's find a bush. So in the beginning as well, it kind of goes easy mode, right? Mine out the resources from your initial flatland area, and then it forces you to start expanding and exploring outside of the world. So we'll get these guys here. Should have 12, yep. And I think it's turning nighttime again. 
So we better get back. And I think all I have to do is pop it in there. Yep, there we go. So let's adventure out this time. Let me just wait till it turns to night. Um, and then if we can make one more torch. No, we can't. We just get some quick coal. And then maybe we'll get the machete before we go out as well. Hop up. Oh, we need stone. Uh oh. Ah, uh, we need one more. There we go. Little little farm of stone. All right. Oh, quick, make it. Ah, there we go. That's a lot quicker. It's a lot quicker. All right, let's adventure out. Get my torch in hand. Let's see what we can find. See, it's, it's pretty hard navigating these waters. Uh-oh, got hit. That would have been a death. So we'll keep going. Let's see what's over here. Oh, come on. Don't get hit. Wow, I'm really bad at this game. Ah! Oh yeah, here's the jungle biome. We actually did do it. Place some torches down. Maybe let's not get hit. And this is why I developed quick swap slots. If you are familiar with my inventory tutorial, which uses this same concept. Because that was a hassle right there. Get out of here. Equip this guy. Uh, actually, no, we'll equip the hatchet. It's a little bit faster on the trees. And then I believe there is an ending to this world. Yep, it's right here. But we won't go over there. Pretend you didn't see that. In your mind, the world is infinite. So then, yeah. So this is basically a really good uh, resource for trees. And um, basically, when you get to this point in the game, there are a lot of items that are very tree-based. So I don't know, we have, it looks like we have like a little graphical glitch there with the changing it out. A lot of the items are tree based as well, so it, when you go to that world, you can start sort of uh, build up defenses and armor through wood, stone, all of that. So you can go through the entire resource tree of how sturdy you want your uh, items and traps and all that. So let me go back and let me just see if the stone block works on this build. Like I said, really cool idea. I might actually go back to this. Because it was a really cool idea. Don't steal it. <laughs> Alright, let's get over here. And we're home. We were so far. We'll research that. I don't know how long that's going to take. Okay, not too long. And in the meantime, let me just... You know, and there was a whole other system too where you could grow trees on your flatland area. So it would be a whole sort of maze, right? So you'd want to like have elevated trees and, you know, 
the, the AI in the game would not only go for your spaceship, but go for the resources like your saplings, getting the trees and all that. So it would really just try to destroy you completely. And the game is supposed to be co-op mode, multiplayer, which would have been really fun. So if I do go back to do this, then there will be co-op mode, of course. All right, let's see. Okay, we got one stone block. Oh yeah, I guess was, this was the first system used to put the stone block down. And it, I guess it doesn't allow us to put it anywhere. So I guess this was in its prototype phase. Uh, this wasn't how the block mechanic was gonna work though. In the screenshot before you sort of had that grid and uh, you could uh, do everything there. All right, so that's gonna be it for today. Go and like, go and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the game. Leave a comment, let's discuss, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.